Joining us now, you may or may not have noticed that throughout the Oscar Pistorius trial, women clad in black and green were sitting beside the relatives, in particular the mother of Reba Sienkamp. Those were the ladies of the ANC Women's League in the Gauteng Division. Uh, Criselda Lewis is standing by now, crossing to us live from the North Gauteng High Court. She's with Mama Jackie Mufugeng, representing the Gauteng North, uh, Gauteng uh, ANC Women's League, I should say. Criselda, it's over to you and hello to you again with your guest. Well, in fact, Ayanda, we're expecting uh, quite a hive of activity outside here, the North Gauteng High Court. We're expecting the ANC Women's League in Gauteng to come and hold a picket here outside the North Gauteng High Court. You would recall, as you rightly point out, they've been there since day one, since the bail application at uh, the Magistrates Court here in Pretoria. Let's just talk now to Jackie Mufugeng, who is the, the spokesperson for the ANC Women's League here in Gauteng. Mum, Jackie, thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. You, you've been here since day one. What are you expecting uh, uh, to happen or to come out of this court? We are expecting nothing else but the, uh, the guilty verdict because we've been through the processes and with this case being a horrendous, actually one of the cases that we have ever experienced, we are saying we need nothing but uh, he should be found guilty. We expect uh, that justice should be done and we have confidence in the justice system. How the judge actually presided over the case is actually very encouraging and it gives us con confidence into the whole matter. Mm. The ANC Women's League was very critical in the beginning during the bail application to say that uh, Oscar Pistorius was being treated with kid gloves, uh, his celebrity status was taken to in into account. Do you think that that has changed since that last statement? I think it has changed and we are really happy about that because uh, you remember during the bail hearing there was also those uh, allegations about how he arrived to actually he was staying or being present at the police station in Brooklyn instead of being at the other police station that is uh, the other side of Duran uh, Proof uh, or Dongor Hook, something like that. Mm. I want to talk about some of the other criticism as well that many have been saying that uh, you know the ANC Women's League has been present here, you've been sitting in the gallery alongside the Stiencom family and that uh, you hardly see this presence of the ANC Women's League. That is the criticism. At other cases which are equally important, uh, uh, the abuse of women and children, the rape of women and children is still a major issue in South Africa. I think you know for a fact that the Women's League, the advantage is that we are in every ward, in every branch. This case happened to be the way it is because it was a Blade Runner, a very high profile people, a person. And remember in the next court, in this very same uh, actually court, we had a case of the Kumalos and the Women's League was there, but it was never prioritized. We are actually, be, we had been all over the show, but most of our cases are not known. And we don't actually even go to the courts to be in the media space. We go there to make sure that justice is done. And you'll remember that uh, on the Rasuhe case, that's what makes us confident that uh, the judge at the time made sure that the uh, Nguna was sentenced without a body being found. And we are confident in that. And even for those people that will say the women's league is not there or there, we know ourselves and we are not going to flout what we can do. And I think we have done well so far for South African women. Well, we're, uh, we know that uh, Rivas Tiankam's family will address the media once the full verdict has been delivered or handed down. Uh, you spoke to them yesterday. They arrived in Pretoria yesterday. How are they doing uh, just a few hours before uh, this verdict uh, uh, will, will start being handed down? I think they are confident in the justice system too. But what they wish is that they should be actually justice should prevail and they want actually their daughter to really rest in peace. And that is their wish. And having heard uh, many times that uh, Mrs. Stenkamp said, I'm a forgiving person, but it doesn't mean that justice should not be done. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about the picket that we're expecting here outside uh, uh, the court today. How many uh, of your members are you expecting to come here? And uh, obviously the message is clear. We are expecting over 500 women. Remember, we also have a progressive women's movement of South Africa together with us that have been in support. And we'll be actually trying to look at the days, how far they go, so that we can be able to get women from all areas. We cannot just get a lot of people coming in this area to be irresponsible because you can see it's a very busy street. But the number that we have assigned will be there today.
All right, uh, Jackie Mufukeng there, who is the ANC Women's League spokesperson here in Gauteng. There'll be a picket, as you've heard here, outside this court. We're also expecting Oscar Pistorius to arrive shortly before 9 o'clock, as always has been the case, his family members as well. We understand Riva Stienkamp's family from Cape Town is also going to be back at court this morning. And also certainly something that we've been watching very closely is whether Oscar Pistorius' brother Carl will be at court. You would know that he was involved in a near fatal car accident he has been receiving rehabilitation and uh, he's really been a pillar uh, of Oscar Pistorius' strength since the beginning of this trial it remains to be seen if he will be able to make it to court this morning let me hand back to you in studio for now